So the hype for the Galaxy S9 is over and everything is settled down. If you want to see a full comparison between it and the S8, check out the previous video. But for now, we have information regarding the monster of 2018, the Galaxy Note 9. What is up guys, I hope you're all doing well. The Galaxy Note 8, which was the best phone of 2017 according to MKBHD, had the general model number SMN950. And if you add a U at the end, you get the general model number of the Note 8 in the United States. The phone that rocks the Snapdragon processor, which is less powerful than Samsung's Exynos processor. And guess what showed up in one result of the HTML5 test? This SMN960U. It was noticed by the Dutch Samsung fan blog Galaxy Club. And you have already guessed what it surely refers to. And the score was 522 out of 555. Not impressed? Well, to put it into perspective, the Note 8 scored 488 on the same test, and the new Exynos S9 scored 517. So, when the Snapdragon Note 9 scores 522 while still being in early development stage, then we're really talking about a beast here. Unfortunately, this leak doesn't show much apart from that beastly score. Only the usual stuff like the fact that the phone will come with the 18.5 by 9 screen and that right now it's using Android 8, but this is as of this moment, of course. It should launch with Android 8.1 at least. And by the way, if you didn't know yet, it's rumored that we won't see an in-display fingerprint scanner with the Note 9. The reason is that the current technology in that field isn't enough to convince Samsung to use it in such an important device. I'm talking about the Synaptics optical sensor that came with the Vivo X20 Plus UD. It's not as fast as the capacitive scanners and also not as accurate and can be seen sometimes through the glass and it won't work with all screen protectors. So this all made Samsung delay the implementation of this idea until they further develop it. Because they want to present technologies to the consumers when they're really convenient. And they don't care about being the first to introduce new technologies anymore. So no room for playing around, only the best of the best come with Samsung's flagships. But still, we are months ahead of the Note 9. So there is still a slight possibility that things change. And I will keep you informed if this happens. So to make sure you get my next video, subscribe now and ring the notification bell. It's totally free. So that's it guys for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.